Hey, what's up guys? I'm uh, getting ready to go to the gym, so excuse the tank top, but I just wanted to make a quick video. I was having a conversation with someone in the office and you know, he was saying that millennials today are content renting. And he was asking me why that is. And you know, after thinking about it for a little bit, you know, I don't think that millennials are content renting. I think that millennials just simply don't see the value in home ownership uh, as previous generations did. And, you know, I, I think there's a few reasons for why that is, mainly because, you know, we don't see millennials getting married and starting families as often as previous generations did. Um, you know, just looking back at the people that I went to high school with and went to college with, maybe 20% are married with children today. Um, so, you know, unlike previous generations, we're just not seeing as many people start families. And that's really the number one reason why someone would purchase a home is because they want to start a family. The other reason that I think that millennials choose to rent over purchase a property is because they want to remain mobile. Um, you know, one of the things that we see today is that companies tend to not show as much loyalty to their employees. Uh, you know, we don't see a lot of companies offering pensions anymore. You know, most companies don't even offer a 401k anymore. And so the benefits are diminishing. And so if companies aren't showing loyalty to their employees, then why should the employees show loyalty to the company? Therefore, you know, I feel that a lot of Millennials in particular, they want to remain mobile. They want to be able to take a job offer in a different part of the city or the state or even the country for that matter. And as a renter, they can do that a lot easier. So I think those are really the two main reasons why millennials tend to rent more so than previous generations. They want to remain mobile and, you know, they're single. They don't, they don't uh, have families. Uh, so... I do think, though, despite that, it is still important to remember the importance of home ownership. Um, and maybe owning a single family home, maybe owning a condo in the city or a single family property out in the suburbs, maybe that's not right for you. Um, you know, if you're single, you want to remain mobile, maybe what, what is a better option for you would be to invest in a multifamily property. And this is one of the things that I, I try to stress to a lot of the people that are my age is, you know, investing in a multifamily property is extremely beneficial. For one, it's, you know, you can typically get an FHA loan as long as you live in one of the units, which means you only have to put down 3.5%, assuming you meet the other criteria. But, you know, in a nutshell, uh, all you really need to do is come up with 3.5% uh, along with some of the other uh, standards that they have and have to live in one of the units and you can secure a multifamily property. And that way you have income coming in month after month instead of simply having a property that uh, you know, you're living in, you're not generating income off of that. You know, you're, you're building equity, you're your investment is growing through appreciation, but as in terms of an investment, a single family property is not nearly as good as a multifamily. Not to mention the fact that owning an income property, you get certain tax benefits. You know, you can incorporate a business and purchase that property uh, through the business name, and so that way you can use your business to, to have certain write-offs. Uh, anytime that you purchase anything for the property, it can be a write-off. Um, you know, it, it, it's something that I would definitely, definitely consider. And you don't have to live in that property forever. You can, you can use um, the units and, and live in the units for, uh, for a period of time while the FHA loan is in effect and once you reach that 20 percent uh equity then you can move out and then you can rent out all three units 
and get income from all three units and then relocate or purchase another property. Uh, but you know, if you're single, if you are millennial and you know you want to remain mobile, you want to uh, you know get into real estate, that is something I would consider doing. And you know, Chicago has an abundance of multifamilies, and a lot of them are pretty good deals in good areas. So that's something I would consider if I were you. Uh, you know, owning investment real estate is the number one way Americans have accumulated wealth in this country. And so the earlier you can start, the better. At least that's my thought on it. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to explore your options for multifamilies, uh, hit me up. 630-484-3600. Thanks, guys. Peace.